Well, obviously, um, being a multi-musician, um, it does help influence whatever you're doing. Uh, I think the dr my drumming helped influence my keyboard playing, and I'd like to think vice versa. Um, and the fact that I hear lyrics, I write lyrics, and I hear melodies and stuff like that does play a part in my musicianship and uh, my approach to music. I think um, I see the drums as as they are. You know, I see them as a rhythmic instrument, but I don't approach uh, playing them that way. Um, obviously, I mean, they are the, the the key element to rhythms and, and beats and, and, and groove, but um, I think I still approach it from a melodic standpoint. I approach it with uh, an infusion of both coming together. And um, I don't know, I think uh, it's, it's, it may be a weird perspective for people that don't see it that way. But um, I, th I really think they play hand in hand. I think, I mean, you, even if you just have a melodic instrument, even if it's just melodic, uh, rhythm is there. You can't get away from it, you know, even if it's whole tones, even if it's whole notes, you know, you can't get away from at some aspect, you know, the counting and the rhythmic part of it. However, you can play rhythms and not include melody, you know, or you can have a monotone. You can play rims and then not be include, uh, inclusive uh, of the melody. But you can't do the other, you can't do the opposite. And um, so that's quite an advantage and that's quite uh, uh, an opener for me because I have a blank canvas of, you know, there's no set melodic structure on the drums. So you have all of these tones and all these pitches to choose from. And you're able to make music on the drums without being judged from, oh, that's the wrong key. This is the wrong, you know, it doesn't go with that interval. That doesn't, you know. So you're able to, to, to create melodies from tones and not from a structure of a key signature or stuff like that, so. Yeah.